what is up everybody welcome back to another video um, what i have for you guys today is a extremely crazy thing i'm going to be releasing um if you, many of you know me from the galactic conquest my original game that i made it came out with at a pretty insane chip system and today i'm going to be releasing it for the public for everyone to use throughout the genre and just really anybody who wants it it can be used for any genre but it's primarily for star wars so um, yeah, let's get into it. So the model will be in the description um, Anybody can have it, but uh, there are things that you're gonna need to know like this is a pretty complex system So there everything will be in the description you need uh, any plug-in any Anything you'll need so let's get into it. Um, the model looks like this when it spawns in It's kind of confusing, but let's get into it. So like my other system we're just going to take out what's inside the folders and put them how they're labeled. So if it says workspace, you take these three items out of that folder, put them in workspace, delete the folder, you're done. Start to play your scripts, drag that down, put it in there, close it up, and delete. You guys kind of get the pattern here. So take these three GUIs, close it up, and get rid of it. Start character scripts, close it up. Delete server storage. Close it up. Delete. Server script service. Close it up. Delete. And finally replicate it. This is the big monster right here. Drag all that in to replicated storage. Close it up. Oh, and that's really all you need. So you can go ahead and get rid of the model. Now, basically what has been put in the game so far is everything you'll need, including... I. I was nice and I included a like a base model ship for you guys to use here and uh, yeah so there's that but you can make your own chips I know a lot of you want to make your own chips and stuff and that's what we're gonna get into next so this is where it kinda gets complex so I'm just gonna use this ship as an example you just wanna take this model or let's just take this whole folder as an example paste it into workspace so if you're wanting to make a new ship let's say this was my new ship um, and you have a folder inside called parts basically everything inside parts is your ship and it's separate from the turrets that are on this but everything inside this is going to need to be welded together so what you're going to do is you're going to right click on this folder select children and this is uh the plugin will be in the description you're going to need the weld plugin have it right here just click weld and it will weld all the parts together really simple um, turrets are a different story, so turrets, like I said, are separate. They're under the same model, but they're not actually in the parts folder. Um, these would, these attach onto the ship separately, so what you do is you just, you can have as many turrets as you want, but you're going to need to do this. So, uh, open the turret up and go to base. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's going to be like an invisible block right below the whole turret. Um, and you're actually going to need to select a part from the ship. So let's open your parts folder, and we'll just find this part real quick. You're welding it to. So we're going to weld it to this piece right here, this little block here. Since it is touching with that. Uh, keep it selected, and then hold control and select base. Oh, I actually don't think they're touching. Okay, one second. Let's find a different part. Let's find this cylinder here if we can't. This might be it. Cylinder. Yes, okay. Like this. Hold control, select base, and like I said, plugins, click weld, and then you're done. Um I wouldn't recommend changing the turrets. I mean you can kind of change this design, but it's kind of complicated to change the turrets design. Um Mostly what doesn't need to be messed with is the base and these barrels right here. You can kind of make your own design, but it's just you have to like redo everything. So I would recommend just keeping this turret, but if not, um, you can always change it. You just might have to re-weld some stuff. Anyways, that's how to like set up a ship. Um, and there, I've had problems in the past with the welding, so just make sure you take your time. Make sure all the parts... Oh, make sure there are also... Uh, make sure none of these parts are anchored because they're just going to be welded and the scripting does the rest so they don't fall out and that's all um a few other things under the ship um you can edit some of the 
settings under here they have damage um, energy which we were going to do a refueling system but um, just for now just don't edit the energy unless you want them to be able to like you know stop but if they do stop there's no refueling mechanism so I just keep it at infinite um, health and shield under the ship seat is where you can find the rest of them like how fast it accelerates how the max speed max shield um, turn speed stuff like that and it's pretty self-explanatory um, sounds is found under primary you can edit um, how turrets sound the hyperdrive uh, engine explosion sound stuff like that now that's about it for ships and you can edit the cost at this little end value right here now if I want it to be 10k I can set it to 10,000 we'll set it to 10,000 real quick and after you're that after you're done with that you just drag it right into replicated under the ships folder and you're done uh, but yeah a couple other things you're gonna need to know is how to set up multiple ship dealers so we're just gonna take this for example we'll just name it dealer 2 okay I'm gonna find it over here and we're gonna bring it over here so basically how these ship deals work is each one of them has their individual spawn point for a ship so what you want to do you want to grab a part real quick and if you want the ship spawn to be like I don't know right here in the sky like right above this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna name this ship not caps ship why is it caps ship spawn part ship spawn part all together no spaces or anything okay I will have this command in the description but uh yeah I'm gonna go down your command bar control V and uh, you wanna make sure your dealer or that your name right there is set to whatever you named your dealer okay so we just set it to dealer 2 put it right there and then over here ship spawn part that's the part we just named that is where the ship will actually be spawning so then you just input that uh command You'll see it in your output there. That means it worked. If it looks white like that, that means it worked. And that's all you need to do for the ship spawn part. And we can drag that dealer back in interactables folder. Me, um, another thing, always make sure your dealers are under this interactable folder just to keep it organized and so you know where each one is. Um, another thing, warp points. These are going to be your hyperspace warps. So like if you're going planet to planet or just place to place this little block right here you can have as many as you want I just named this spaceport 2 you can duplicate it you can go over here just make sure they're never the same name so we'll name this spaceport 2 and spaceport 1 like that and yeah that's literally how to set it up um, one more thing I think this is the last thing guys I know this is kinda of long but uh, one more thing go into server storage credit functions and under credit functions you're gonna see a little int value called starting credits this credit amount under the value is gonna be how much credits the player is starting with so if you want them to start with nothing and they have to earn their way up through like a, a job system or something like that you can set it to zero or 100 whatever you want I have it set to a million I'm actually gonna up that value a little bit to 10 million so I have enough to purchase some of the ships in game, which we're about to head over and test out. Um, but yeah, that should be about it. Um, like I said, I mean, you can always play around with some of these GUIs, change them around to your liking, but um, they're all fitted to the screen and everything, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, yeah, that's about it. That should be it for the setup. If you have any more questions in the comments, just hit me in the comments if I missed anything. Uh, just file publish and I'll see you guys in the game alright guys we're in game now on the base play and as you can see uh, our my data store system has already been implemented this does come with like a full data store system so your credits will save every time you purchase a ship or anything like that so I already purchased some let's get into it so this is the only ship I have in here but if you add multiple you just click these air arrows to go past and stuff like that so we're just going to go and purchase this one. Once you purchased it, you purchased it forever. Like spawn. It's going to spawn us in. As you guys can see, the spawn point here. And it does have a little glitch where it, when you first spawn in, you just have to get out of the seat. But you can see there, ship is starting up. You can hear the engine sounds. And let's move around here. Awesome, dude. 
like I said, you can adjust the speed, um, uh, how much energy it has, and also turning speed. Like this is a little bit slow for my liking, so I would probably up it right now. And let's just test out the turret to make sure it's all working. The other seat, and the turret seems to be working. Turret bullets do have a little bit of delay, but it's not too bad at all for robots. Little explosions on the ground, sick. Alright guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial and you do want to see another crazy one like this, I got loads of more stuff I want to give out from this project specifically. Um, any questions, hit me in the comments or hit me on Discord. I hope you guys enjoy this system. It's probably going to be crazy because the amount of like people that are going to see this and use it. I can't wait to see all the different games that come out with this. But um, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. Oh yeah, and like and subscribe.